welcome to episode two, guys. Thanks so much for watching. This was our second day at White Oak Duck Woods, and we decided to go hunt some timber, and it was an awesome time, guys. Enjoy. So Saturday night, Mr. Bray gets a text on his phone, and it says uh, that Mr. Jeff has invited us to go duck hunting at his duck hole. And me and Parker were super excited. Today we got the opportunity to hunt with Jeff and his crew, so we woke up a little bit earlier, got some food in us, strapped up in our waders, and grabbed our guns, and we were on our way out. Get to the lodge, and Mr. Jeff comes out, and I was super excited, because I actually got to touch the um, truck that they use for duck hunting in person, the Bronco. I get to meet Jeff, Mr. Jeff, and Mr. Spencer, and Mr. Keith. We get out, we get over there to, uh, the water hole and uh, as we get out in there uh, we spread out the best we can trying to set up uh, Mr. Jeff and the guys have gone, gone in and, and cut some of the trees out so that we could uh, be able to spread out and maybe produce a hole that the birds might want to go in. Dear Lord thank you for this day, thank you for everything you've done for us and Lord just let us have a great time today. Let us enjoy this day that you've provided for us, Lord. Thank you for letting everybody wake up safely, sending angels over us today, Lord. And let us have an awesome, great experience today. In your holy name, amen. Amen. Amen, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Now let's get to quack racking. <laughs> So anyway, we spread out and we get set up on the trees and um, it's an overcast day. So overcast days are pretty tough to hide in. To shoot a video of uh, this magnitude with all the things that are kind of against you is really tough on Justin. Right here. Um, right here. But you know, he's a master at his craft and he did the best he could trying to motor around and be still in between volleys of shots and stuff. Um, but I don't think that you can, I mean, you can do a better job if the conditions were better, but in the conditions that we had, hats off, man. The guy does a great job, did a great job. The weathers weren't the best, it was overcast, and we didn't have any sun, which makes it really hard. And we have nine people in the hole, so that makes it even harder. Because we have to stay hugged up, hugged up against this tree, and especially with nine people being in the hole, it's just really hard to stay still. And um, if we had sun, it could have been such a better day. We start kicking around water, and we work the ducks into the hole. There's duck landing on Parker's head, which every time uh, she looks up, it's hard to see because she's in such a thick brush. And um, she had so many ducks and crap on her head every time. And um, we had an awesome day. I thought it was pretty cool that we got to hunt with Mr. Spencer and all of them. And Mr. Dustin was there too, and we had a great time. It is a humbling experience to be with some of the best callers uh, in, the, in the business. And it's really pretty neat to watch them call, watch them shoot, um, and also to be just really down there with great guys. Will hit, hit a couple of birds. I think he got two in one shot. Uh, three for three first day, two on that day. And I think 
Who was Dusty? Dusty uh, got a double that day. Dustin. Dustin. I always call him Dusty. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> anyway, Mr. Jeff actually uh, said, "I, you know, just took off and walked. I think he was going to try to kick up some more birds or uh, just moving locations." He come back and uh, we were at the end of the hunt and it was kind of funny because uh, Will says, uh, "Mr. Jeff, um, how many birds did you kill?" Jeff looked at him and said, uh, "What's with all the questions, Mr. Officer?" And uh, it was kind of funny that he, he his response was that, and, and Will was like, "No, no, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Jeff, how many birds you kill?" He said, "I got four. But look, you know, my hats off to all of them. Thank you so much for allowing us to be there and, and um, allowing Justin to come and video and make this great video that we can look back on and have some of the best memories." Um, they're all great memories, but this is just another notch that we're really thankful for. And if it wasn't for Brett Gotch and his um, willingness to to give to other people and love on people, then it wouldn't have happened. It wouldn't have been that experience. We, you know, we'd have been trying to do something else. So, thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you for being a great friend, and we look forward to our next adventures. Even though we had tougher conditions, these memories I made today were actually something I will never forget and I will always cherish close to my heart. Being outdoors and enjoying that time with my dad and our friends, it just means something to me that nothing else can replace. Look, our main goal with these videos is to hopefully capture the minds of young people, the next generation, and get them fired up about the great outdoors. There's not a better example than the White Oak Duckwoods crew at doing this because you know, we would really like to thank Mr. Jeff, Mr. Spencer, Mr. Keith, and Mr. Dustin for being so hospitable to all of us, but especially to Will and Parker. You know, it was so cool to see them, you know, just take them in with open arms. We kind of came as strangers and we left feeling like family, and that's what this is really about. It's so cool to see leaders in the industry giving back to people that they didn't have to. And, you know, that's our goal with these videos. So we hope you take every opportunity that you get to invest in the next generation and get them outdoors, guys. So we'll have future episodes coming up. But thank you so much for watching this one. We hope you enjoyed it.